Hello from uh, techbooksreview.com. We are here today to talk about uh, a very nice book from O'Reilly publication called The Head First Design Patterns. It actually got a lot of popularity among the software design community because it's possibly one of the best explanations of uh, uh, the design patterns uh, <coughs> that uh, I personally and I, I can see many other reviewers have enjoyed. Um, Design patterns are uh, are about uh, the abstraction of some some uh, uh, real world concept into um, repeatable uh, software behavioral implementation. Now, the only constraint or minor constraint that I found about the book uh, is the fact that it's mainly uh, written in Java code. Uh, it's very minor because most of uh, us uh, would be able to convert. Uh, the Java examples into C sharp uh, with no problem, but for those uh, uh, little portions of the text that uh, dive deep into specific uh, JDK um, interpretation of these patterns. And uh, therefore, today in this video, I wanted to show you an example of uh, the implementation of the observer pattern that uh, they give in the book. Uh, that uses the swing API of, J of Java and uh, which of course is not available uh, in C sharp so I went ahead and translated uh, the, that implementation into a C sharp uh, example. Uh, the observer pattern uh, for those that are yet to read uh, this uh, great book uh, is uh, about uh, the existence of a subject and an observer which is basically an object that is able to notify uh, a set uh, of uh, subscribers of the occurrence of a given event is otherwise known of a publish subscribe model <coughs> in our case in our scenario here uh, that is basically taken straight out of the book uh, we have uh, a couple of listeners which are the observers of our um, example and then we have a subject which is a control as a user input that is able to perform an action and uh, notify the listeners uh, once they should subscribe to 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 itself uh, here uh, this uh, console application of course is not a win form for sake of simplicity so the code is uh, simple for you to grasp shows that when the button gets pushed the subscribers to the button which are these angel and devil will get notification about for example the, the coordinates uh, of the button where when it's been pushed um, as simple as that the program when it runs it really does nothing but running the simulation code which uh, uh, gives you an acknowledgement of the notification from the listeners so how do we do that? I created these uh, these uh, different C# -sharp files for the different section of the implementation to make it more readable. The code, uh, as you see on the screen, is of course available for download uh, in, uh, on the blog at techbooksreview.com, and you will see the description on the right side of the YouTube. Uh, the way these uh, uh, classes are implemented uh, is uh, the implementation of a button control which is our subject uh, the, the, the controller of the of the event notification which is an implementation of an abstract class and uh, we follow here the the, the, the the predicaments of the of the books in uh, implementing an abstract class before its uh, actual instantiator the abstract control is nothing but uh, a simple pseudo control of course it's not a UI control in any form and it has an event which is the click event which is raised by the on click methods as per most of the control UI controls that you uh, find and uh, it has these two observer specific uh, methods which are the capability of having uh, an object subscribe or unsubscribe to the class itself, hence uh, attach or detach. These very simple methods 
are basically the subject side of the implementation of the server pattern. And then uh, we have a simulation code that uh, basically uh, upon the invocation of this push method it raises down click events and it does what uh, the, um, the code is uh, showing you. It basically passes uh, two custom event arguments which I coded in a different files that are nothing but uh, the simulation of two coordinates x and y's uh, that supposedly would uh, return uh, the location where the button is being pressed. The button control does nothing but uh, implementing that abstract class and then we go into the action listener uh, implementation which as per the book uh, um, indication you basically start on defining an interface. The interface is telling you the implementation of, of, of the action listener will expect uh, a method called update and the update is basically the request from the listener to know what's, uh, what the subject uh, has been up to. The implementation of the interface therefore uh, shows nothing but the uh, the code of the update uh, method and uh, you can see that it's just uh, an output to the standard output uh, of the of the uh, click events as the notification from the button shows uh, the rest is just uh, an assignment of a name so it can be it can be uh, output to the description so everything then plays pretty well together. You can see that once I instantiate the listener, I do nothing else but attaching uh, to the to the button and then invoking the, the messages. One, one thing that I could do, I could go ahead and call the detach once I'm done, you know, just to dispose the or alleviate the subject from the subscription of the listeners. And basically, here you have your C sharp um, observer pattern implementation. Thank you very much. Remember to visit uh, my blog at the techbooksreview.com where you can uh, download the code. And uh, if you so wish, and uh, I strongly suggest you can go ahead and buy the book uh, at amazon.com or half.com, whatever you like. Thank you for your time.